said a number of things, not only about the university itself in terms of how it got started, but it, about a number of other things relative to how people related to the university. Even though we realized that Shaw was not the founder of Shaw University, that Mr. Tupper was the founder. Shaw was the one who, every time Tupper needed money, put up money for him to uh, establish buildings or to do whatever he needed to do to get the school going. And so I suppose it was Tupper who was particularly interested in seeing to it that the school was named Shaw. Because before it became Shaw University, it was Shaw Collegiate Institute, but that was only a relative short period, relatively short period. And then, of course, it became uh, Shaw University. So that's basically how the uh, how how it got started. Now the university, of course, started off with Tupper's coming in and the saying in the. Uh, at right after the Civil War, that he wanted to teach the freedmen. And so as he started to teach the freedmen, he found his classes getting larger and larger and had, had having to move from one spot to another. And as he found the final spot on which he settled and uh, settled into a collegiate institute, 